Today we're going to see how Symmetry works on Clio 2.0. First of all, we're going to create a primitive, a sphere, for example. We're going to validate it. And we're going to select by face the half of uh, the faces of this sphere. And we're going to delete it. Now I'm going to select by object. I'm going to select this half of sphere. And going to the third tab, we have a command called Symmetry. We're going to click on it. And this new button on, on the bottom left side of my viewport is going to appear. The first thing we have to do is select the axis that we want to create the symmetry on. In this case, we have to active the X axis to create the symmetry. In the left side, we have different options to change right now. For example, we have a loop of edge on the middle of the two half of spheres. To convert it as one full object, I have to active merge. I'm going to deactive merge again. We also have clamping. Later we're going to see an example of clamping. Maybe it's the trickiest uh, part of symmetry. We also have show virtual. So as we start symmetry, we have our real part, the one we create, and the symmetry part, the one that we call virtual, that it's not selectable and nothing. Okay, We have to do it all on the real part. If we deactivate show virtual, we are going to hide the virtual part and we can only work with the real one. I'm going to show virtual again and I'm going to explain you what threshold do. I'm going to select our half real sphere and I'm going to separate a little bit from the center of uh, symmetry, maybe a little bit more. Okay, now even if we merge that, we cannot create a full object of that because there are two loops of edge that are too separate. What I have to do now is increase the threshold to join those objects. Just increasing the threshold value, we're going to join the two halves even if they are not touching each other. Okay. Now we have the clamping. What's clamping? I'm going to deactivate merge again. Okay, I'm gonna join it a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna select one face from the real half and I'm gonna create an extrusion. I'm gonna go to the third tab and extrude that. Okay, maybe I'm gonna say two of distance and I'm gonna validate. When I join those faces a little bit to the symmetry axis and I try to merge that, it's gonna appear this twirling geometry right here. That's because we have two, I'm going to deactivate merge, we have two different uh, faces on the inside part that when we are trying to merge we are creating a coplanar face so it's creating this kind of uh, weird surface. So what we have to do when we have this example and we have merge active, here we have to active clamping to delete that surface. So now we have a full object perfectly uh, created. Now we can work on our geometry just working normally uh, with a symmetry so we can just change our geometry in a half and it's going to be displayed symmetrical on the other one. Okay. When we have finished our symmetry we just have to click on validate and it's going to validate our symmetry and create just an object. That's all. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.